Beetlejuice 2 has reportedly wrapped filming, and we have some brand new details about one of the new characters that will be introduced in next year's highly anticipated Halloween set sequel to the 1988 Tim Burton classic. Hey everybody, Matt here with Halloween Daily News with some exciting news for what is personally my most anticipated movie of 2024. At least so far, it is definitely the one I am most hyped about, Beetlejuice 2. Just to recap, this is, of course, the sequel to the 1988 Tim Burton classic. Michael Keaton returns to reprise his role as the title character. Winona Ryder is also back reprising her role as Lydia Dietz. Catherine O'Hara returns as Lydia's mom, Delia Dietz as well. And Jenna Ortega joins the cast of the sequel, playing Lydia's daughter. Danny Elfman is also back to compose the soundtrack, as he did for the original film, and so many other collaborations with Tim Burton since. Burton is directing his first feature film since 2019's Dumbo, from a screenplay by his Wednesday series creators, Al Goff and Miles Millar. Of course, Burton directed the first half of season one of Wednesday, which stars Jenna Ortega in the title role of that Netflix series. Principal photography took place over the summer, May through June, and by July they were shooting exterior sets in East Corinth, Vermont, where set photos, as the ones we are looking at here, shared by the Luna Moon Gothic account on both Facebook and Instagram. They did a remarkable job of covering the set when they were filming and sharing as many photos as they could. And from those set photos, we learned that this film is 100% a Halloween movie. It takes place during the Halloween season. As many pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, and other assorted Halloween decor was spotted on the set. And shooting was nearly complete just before the actor's strike began. And Tim Burton was even quoted during the strike saying that only less than two days of filming was left to be done before the project could move into post-production. He told The Independent in September, quote, I feel grateful we got what we got. Literally, it was a day and a half left to shoot, he means. He continues, we know what we have to do. It is 99% done. Then the director goes on to tease a little bit about his joy at the process of making this movie. He says, quote, on this last one, Beetlejuice 2, I really enjoyed it. I tried to strip everything and go back to the basics of working with good people and actors and puppets. It was kind of like going back to why I liked making movies, end quote. Filming did resume just days after the strike ended on November 9th with Jenna Ortega and Tim Burton spotted back on set, this time shooting in Melrose, Massachusetts, which was once again decorated for Halloween. This photo shared by Boston's Wicked North Shore, which reported that filming wrapped on November 17th. Back in June, Michael Keaton told Empire Magazine, quote, Beetlejuice is the most effing fun you can have working. It's so fun. It's so great. And you know what it is? We're doing it exactly like we did the first movie. There's a woman in the great waiting room for the afterlife, literally with a fishing line. I want people to know this because I love it. Tugging on the tail of a cat to make it move. It has to be done as close to the way we made it the first time. Making stuff up, making stuff happen, improvising and riffing, but literally handmade stuff, like people creating things with their hands and building something. Effing great. It's the most fun I've had working on a movie, and I can't tell you how long, end quote. Now, if those words from Keaton don't get you hyped for this movie, I don't know what will. To hear him, his enthusiasm at how old school their approach to this film is, doing everything in camera, old school practical effects, as simple as using fishing line to move a cat's tail in the waiting room of the afterlife. You got to love that. And the fact that he's having a blast making this movie the most fun 
he's had since he doesn't know when. Well, that's what I want to hear from the guy playing this character, because Beetlejuice is definitely going to be having a lot of fun in this movie, I think. The new film's cinematographer, Harris Zambarlikos, spoke to The Wrap in August about working on Kenneth Branagh's Halloween murder mystery, A Haunting in Venice, and he provided even more tasty teases of what else we can expect in Beetlejuice 2. He says, quote, both Kenneth and Tim in these two stories wanted to work in camera. On Haunting in Venice, we built a miniature house, a palazzo, and did it to scale. That's how we got some of the angles we couldn't get in real Venice. With Tim, we're working with Neil Scanlon, his puppeteer for many films. At its heart, Beetlejuice 2 is a story about a family. And now it's 30 years later, and what are the intricacies and the human condition in keeping a family together all that time set in the craziest world possible? That's why I choose projects. The human connection for me is always at the forefront, end quote. So again, talking about the practical effects, working in camera, and how about that Tim Burton working with Neil Scanlon once again, puppeteer he has collaborated with on previous projects. I feel like this is shaping up to be, in many ways, a Burton greatest hits of sorts. Some of his most beloved collaborators coming back for this and revisiting one of his most iconic cinematic universes. So in addition to the returning cast members, Keaton, Ryder, and O'Hara, and of course Ortega, we also have new additions to the cast, including Monica Bellucci, Justin Thoreau, and Willem Dafoe, who has revealed some early details about his new character in a recent interview. Dafoe tells Variety, quote, I haven't seen any footage yet, but it was fun to do. I play a police officer in the afterlife, so I'm a dead person. And in life, I was a B-movie action star, but I had an accident and that's what sent me to the other side. But because of my skills, I became a detective character in the afterlife. So that's my job. But it's colored by the fact of who I was, a B-movie action star, end quote. Like I said, I could not be more hyped for this movie. The cast is outstanding. Everything I am hearing from these early interviews just gives me goosebumps. The idea that they are very consciously trying to approach the creation of this film as close to the way they did it back in 88. That's just music to my ears. That's what I want to hear. I think that's what we all want to see in this movie. And the fact that it's going to take place during Halloween is absolutely just the icing on top of all of this. We are going to be covering this all the way through its release and beyond. How hyped are you for Beetlejuice 2 to meet Lydia's daughter, to meet Willem Dafoe's B-movie action star afterlife detective character, and whatever new crazy zany characters we're going to encounter in this film. And of course, be reunited with some of our beloved favorites from the previous film. Let us hear your thoughts in the comments below on Beetlejuice 2. If these reports are true and filming has in fact wrapped and the film is now in post-production, then I would think it is on track to still make that September 6th, 2024 theatrical release date. If anything, maybe it gets delayed about a month into October which would mean it's going to be released right around Halloween itself, which would make even more sense and I don't think would hurt its box office release in any way. But um, I do expect that it will probably stick to that September 6th release date at this time. But let me hear what you think in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications and if you like what you hear, hit this video with a like and look for lots more on all things Beetlejuice 2 and so much more that we've got coming your way right here on the HDN YouTube channel. You're not going to want to miss any of it. Until then, I'm Matt Arts for Halloween Daily News. Thank you for watching.